The experts say it over and over, you are never too young to start planning for retirement. In tonight's Assignment America, Steve Hartman takes us to a place where the kids will be more than ready. They spent the entire summer in training. Go to Lakeside, Ohio, and you'll generally have no problem finding an empty court or an open swing. That's because kids here prefer a more mature pastime, that favorite sport of old and old alike, shuffleboard. This tiny one square mile community on Lake Erie produces some of the best kid shuffleboard players in the country, mainly because they produce some of the only kid shuffleboard players in the country. What percentage of kids play shuffleboard here? Almost all of them. Every kid? It's not just for old people. <laughs> These kids, yeah. all national champions, say it's just part of the culture here that you pick up at an early age. You, you just see people with those big cues, which look like a lot like swords. You see the discs <laughs> going down the court, and you're like, I have to get a hold of this. Shuffleboard tournament director. It starts with the Pee Wee Singles. We're glad to see a nice turnout. An annual tournament for young shufflers age 12 and under. I'm so excited. <laughs> the competition is fierce, and the only thing more important than winning is winning gracefully. Okay. Of course, all this raises the question, where could shuffleboard possibly get you in life? You'd be surprised. For a brief shining moment in the summer of 73, I was the Tiger Woods of shuffleboard, the lakeside 12 and under champion. Unfortunately, I didn't stick with it. And today there's not a toddler in Lakeside who couldn't whip the pants off me. But at the same time, there's not an award or trophy I've won since that means any more to me than this one. Because, as these kids can attest, it makes you stand out. I put all kinds of shuffleboard things on my college applications. Um, Did you get in anywhere? Yeah, I got in. I got into Harvard. Um, that's where I'm going in the fall. <laughs> Uh, I also, I received a card from a university I got into that said, like, we can't wait to have a world champion shuffleboard player on campus. In an age of bullying and conformity, it's kind of nice to know there's still a place where being uncool is all the rage. Steve Harton, CBS News, Lakeside, Ohio.